Hi, everyone! How is everyone? Hi, hi, hi! <clears throat> um, let's see who all is here. Hi, Teb. Hi, Textbook. Hi, Moth. Hi, Sar. Obligato. Hi. Hi, Loverboy. Hi, Rose. Hi, Ghost. Hi, Mia. Hi, Gooey. Hi, Montemi. Hi, Josu. Hi, Mother. Hi, Tropixel. Hi, Shannon. I don't know if I said hi to you, damsel, but hi. I'm good, Moth. How are you? Thank you for asking. Um, hi, Enver. We have a lot of new people. Thank you all for showing up. <laughs> hi, CMB. How are you? What's everyone up to? I don't know if I should do my hair up today. That might be a little bit better. No. It's been up all day, so I need to keep it up because now it's just kind of like sitting like that. There, that's a little bit better. Blue for Fontaine today? I didn't even think about that. Hi, Jem. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Does anyone want to help me with dailies? I need a lot of help with dailies. I have been getting a little bit better, guys. Since I finished, um, since I finished that video for YouTube, I've been getting back into um, my dailies and all that. You know, but I have still been pretty bad about it, admittedly. That being said, I am better than I was last week. Okay, we got everyone in. Let's do commissions first, because I want to do that. I think I marked that so I could go there. Hi, Chia. Supian, hi. We have so many people here. Hi, everybody. Office siren, I <laughs> rose. I wouldn't call myself an office siren. I'm more like the office. Who knows? Um, felt super girly pop today. I had my HR appointment to tell Miss HR about my problems. Then got boba and skincare products. Oh, nice. That sounds so fun. I need boba today, too. Okay. So I marked this, but I don't know... <laughs> why I did maybe there's something down here otherwise I'm taking this off the map because I don't know what I was trying to tell myself to do oh here's a Sealy office game <laughs> Fawn I'm so excited for you to experience the best region is going to give drama mystery visuals outfits I'm excited too I didn't know that I would get here this fast our Lakino looks pretty. I don't know what they're doing, but <laughs> go off. Okay, one down. I need seven more points of interest, I guess. So let's see. Is there anything here? Otherwise, I'm leaving. No, I think I've cleared this area out. So let's go. I should probably still focus on this, but I just really don't want to, honestly. Let's check if there's anything. Oh, right. There is stuff over here, too. Oh, by the way, Pickled. Hi, Pickled. Thank you for resubscribing. Thank you for eight months, Pickled. Jamili, thank you for two months. Um, being fine, mindful of why I was invited to the section. <laughs> I'm really loving those memes. I don't know where they came from. I don't know what the reference is, but I'm really loving those memes. It is Friday. Hi, Matero. TGIF. Last Friday night. Oh, wait. I saw something over here. Let's go over here first. Thank you, Fig. Thank you for eight months, Fig. Hi, Ireland. Are you planning to watch DR All Stars 9? Drag Race All Stars 9? Soupy, and that is so hilarious because the last All Stars I saw was the one that had Trixie Mattel win. They're on nine now. How many seasons do they do a year? I feel like they do like three seasons a year of different like franchises, which is really cool. Like when I was growing up, we didn't have that. 
Drag Race was coming out when I was like in high school. It's so cool that that's just like a sort of syndicated television franchise. Like that's so wild. All Stars Nine, get into that. Get into that part. Wait, why did Prime Sub go through? It didn't pop up. Did my Prime Sub go through? I'm not sure, Moth. You might want to. I don't know. I don't know how you can check that. It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Yeah. I can't keep up with it either. I want to, CMB. I love it. It's so fun, but it's like, first question, what? <laughs> Thank you, CMB, for the gifted subs. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Um, the first question is, what network is it on? Second question. Whoa. Where's this chest at? Second question. Is it All Stars? Is it Canada? Is it UK? Third question. Can I like this person without the internet canceling me? Fourth question. Are there any gimmicks this season? We're not going for that chest because I don't know how to get there. Are there any gimmicks this season? Because if there's gimmicks, it might not be... It might, might, not, might not be giving competition. It might be giving more television. Fifth question. Does RuPaul even like any of the cast? Sixth question. Um, how many are social media queens? How many have actually been performing in clubs? Seventh question. I don't have a seventh question, honestly. Have you seen Clorin's kit? She tops Arlequino, I fear. I don't know who that is. I, I'm excited, though. That's exciting if they're better than Arlequino. Hi, Abby. And... Hi, Yen Yen. Fawn, these are the questions we all need to be asking about Drag Race. Fawn, I feel like you gotta watch this one because Roxy is back. Wasn't... I'm Roxy Andrews and I'm here on All Stars 9. I thought they didn't like Roxy. I thought they decided that Roxy wasn't like a good fit for a winner. They're just putting Roxy on for television. And you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna bully her again. Because Roxy... I was there when the Roxy verse dropped and it was camp and it was really good. But everyone bullied her and told her she was a loser for doing the most iconic and memorable verse of that song. They brought her back because they needed someone else to bully again. They keep doing that. They do it to the pretty girls. They always do it to the pretty girls because the pretty girls don't have anything else that you can pick at because they're perfected drag artists. It's really weird to me. It's gonna be a fun season though if Roxy's there. I mean, they've got like 50 to choose from. I bet they just throw darts. Which uh, which queer artist should we exploit this year? <laughs> which queer artist do we have contractually obliged to our production company and now their career is dependent on our franchise? Which ones should we exploit this year? <laughs> Roxy hasn't been exploited in a while. Let's make her do a verse again and then all the teenagers will bully her. <laughs> Am I going too hard? <laughs> The names are in a hat. It's my lucky day. Thank you, Tropics of. Oh, she did You Can't Read the Doll. I remember that phrase and I saw it was trending today, but I was like, who did that come from? Because I know where that comes from. It was, baby, you can't read the doll. Yeah, I remember that. You did sub? Well, thank you, Ma. Thank you so much. Sorry, guys. I'm really tr I really am trying to be fast, but this is kind of how I do it when I'm, like, not paying attention. Or not not, not paying attention, but, like, when I'm, like, um, relaxed and, like, just sort of doing it in my own time. Thank you, Josu. Fawn, I'm saying this. Now is the time to speed her in Genshin because we're about to get the girly pop character of a lifetime in Star Rail. All in. Oh, okay, I see. I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. I gotta finish these, um. 
commissions. I promise I'm gonna try to get to Fontaine. We have a lot of people watching on both platforms. Thank you all so much. I hope you enjoy uh, the stream. Um, it looks like there's more stuff up here. After I try to get this, I'm gonna go to Sumeru. I think Sumeru is gonna have easier to find points of interest. When will I play Poke Rogue again? Probably maybe Tuesday. Maybe we'll close it out, close out the stream on Tuesday with some Poke Rogue. Is it still fun? Nicholas, I'm having a good time. I hope your academic research is going well, though. I hope that this is an accessible thing and not blocked behind some... Oh, God. It's not going to be easy to get. I knew it. 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 Is it here? I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Thank you guys for the hype train. Oh, God. We're going to Sumeru. I'm going to Sumeru. I can't... What is this? Yeah, let's go to Sumeru. I can't take this right now. Oh, wait. There's something here. How do I get this? It's a puzzle. Okay, we're going to Sumeru. I just need to, I, I just need to get, like, exploration and, like... We're not going to do weeklies today because this has already taken a long time. When do you think you'll play Unite again? I really don't know. I keep making promises, um, but I, I'm i realizing now that I can't really stick to a lot of promises because the nature of everything kind of just, like, is so amorphous on variety streams. I'm going to try. It's not that I'm not going to try. How about that? I'd like to. Unite is really fun. Um, I'm looking for literally anything. I should consider Economia. I'm not going to do Economia. I'm not going to do World Quests. I, I, I would like to, and I appreciate that the lore will help contextualize things, but they, they honestly, frankly, take too long. And really, truly, I'm getting this feeling from people that they want me to start playing Honkai now, and I want to beat Fontaine. I'm just not, I'm not the type of person to spend, like, 30 hours playing something to not finish it. <laughs> so I have to finish Fontaine. I did start a little bit of Economia, though, just so I could start doing stuff for other characters, but I was thinking of doing Wanderer as well. I'm, I'm not going to do Wanderer either. I will, like, when I finish Fontaine, you know, but right now I have to focus on Fontaine. It starts in Caravan Rabat. Uh, I'm, I, I'm trying to, let me finish my commissions first. I'm really trying to be fast. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need three more. Condense the resin. Y'all, I have literally been logged in for not even 15 minutes. Please, let me play the game. <laughs> there isn't a lot of stuff here. Oh. <sighs> okay, whatever. I'm just going to do the story then. Um, let's take a picture. Let's beat up these guys and take a picture. I just really don't feel like getting commissions today. Sometimes they're just kind of irritating. Like, I I don't know. They put so many things just out of the way, and I, I don't know. It takes like 30 minutes to do it. I was wishing that there was a chest here. Okay, let's find somewhere pretty to take a picture.
Let's go to Ningguang's house. Oh, I do? I get it through main story. Okay. On the count, well, actually, no. Arlequino probably can do some cool stuff. So yeah, on the count of three, I'm gonna swing my sword, and then um, you guys can do whatever you want. Y'all know, y'all know the drill, okay? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Thank you, guys. I'm... Well, I guess I can pull with what I've got. Let's do that. I'll pull with what I've got. At least. While you guys are in here. Once, there was a glorious kingdom. Okay. Arlequino has so much cool oh. stuff. Like, they you really deck that character out with, like, cool things. All right, I can't buy that stuff. Okay. Let's get these. I'm sure I've forgotten something. Leave it to me. Uh, not to All worry. It. I'll simply Whatever send someone is. to fetch it. What? As exactly. Soon as I remember it. what it was. I didn't quite catch your Okay. All right. I'm going to do single pulls first. So let's see. I still don't have 50/50 um, um, in favor of the banner and I think I'm about to pull the 5 star. So, hi Darius. Here we go. Yeah. All right, now let's do the ten pool. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a five star, but I don't know what it's Another gonna one. be. Thank you. Oh, do I have him yet? Oh, I don't because he's not talking. So that's C1. That's cool. He's cool. I'm just now noticing his boots. His boots are really nice. Okay. Now I wonder, can I get... Did I buy the wrong things? What did I just buy? I think I just bought something with the wrong currency. No. Oh, okay. I only had blue ones. Okay, that's fine. I was confused. I was like, I'm supposed to buy the not blue ones. Okay. I haven't been doing well on the standard banner, man. Something you wish to Thank recall. you, Lettuce. Whatever you're up to, I hope it goes by you well. My undivided attention. Okay. I'm gonna kick y'all out. Let's start Fontaine. Whenever you uh. see and I'll be there. Thank you guys for helping me. Hi, Gabriel. Enjoy your rest. Thank you for saying hi. Um. 
Okay. Well, let's get started on trying to get to Fontaine then. What pity am I at? Honest, I'm I'm past like 65. I'm not counting that. <laughs> You have a lot of opportunities to get our list. Just don't give up. Thank you. Oh, Paimon remembers. Nahida's consciousness had been trapped. By the time I had started pulling on Arlequino, I was literally at like 65. So it's safe to say that I'm in the 70s. So much time has already passed since then. And it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? I'm saving my Stardust because Noelle comes out in August. Paima just hopes this piece will last a long time. And then yeah, I am won't close. have any more new problems to deal with. Yeah, guess you're right. Hmm. But somehow we always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Who knows what will happen next? Yeah, I'm trying to get... Once I get Noelle to C6, I'll probably be a little bit more willy-nilly with my resources. Come to think of it, I don't want to get Noelle to C6, and then suddenly I need something that I have to, like, grind and grind and grind and grind for. Like, so I guess that's why I'm, like, saving things up. Because once Noelle is, like, C6, and I can go all in on her, I will. Um... Like, I'm still trying to get Claymores. about heading to our next destination for now. Ah, look who it is. Running into you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Oh, it's Dia! Hmm, since when are we just wandering around? We're usually taking care of some serious business. Even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. But never mind that. What brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. That's when I saw you two all the way over there. Chatting away. What were you two talking about anyway? Well, I'm trying to finally leave Sumeru. This place is driving me nuts at this point. Huh? Y you serious? Yes, Dia. It's hot. Y'all don't help me. I almost cursed there. Y'all don't help me. It's hot. You guys can't get along. And I literally had to listen to y'all yap for like three hours when we could have just walked into the academia and beat them up. Can't say I saw that coming. Mm, but you are travelers after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Go pay your bills, Dia. I'm sick of Sumeru. Take me to Fontaine. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? What do you say? The mercs that I beat up on a daily basis? Dia, I'm not in the mood. Thanks, but no need. Yeah, thank oh, you, Paimon. Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. But don't worry. We'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. So, uh, when are you leaving? Hopefully soon! Wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where is that list Paimon made? Hmm. I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. It's sad enough to see you go like this. Dia, did you just see over my shoulder that creep? This is why I'm leaving Sumeru, because all of y'all are fake. Y'all just love talking about yourself. Every time I want to get something done, you guys suddenly want to be my friend. But anytime that, you know, I want to be your friend, you guys want to get something done and go talk around a bar or something. And now I have some guys stalking me. Can I go to Fontaine, Dia? Or are you going to just hold me hostage? Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. Or maybe I don't want another mess to clean up, Dia. Honestly, at this point, Paimon, I kind of don't want to. Oh, 
She'll know. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. Then I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Bye, Dia. Goodbye, Dia. Bye bye, Sumeru. You could say that again, Pimp Paimon. No, Sumeru was actually like my favorite one so far though i think i honestly think as much as i like um what's his face mr intj mr planner mr i'm always reading a book i literally i'll hate them as much as i like i'll hate them's design and i think he's really interesting there were so many moments in the story where he was talking for like 15 minutes straight i have um, been sent to Fontaine to try to procure some like, I don't know, some type of bread. It's called a baguette or something. I don't know. Mio really wants to start getting into the bread industry. So whatever. Let's go. I need to. What I do know is I need to raise. What I do know is I need to raise. Let's go ahead and vlog this. Hi everyone, I'm just now leaving Fontaine. Um, oh, I'm sorry, let me redo my intro. Hi everyone, it's Noelle, the first original hashtag me o girl. Would you like some tea? I'll brew you some. Do you take sugar? One cube or two. That's right, so make sure you use Mio cubes to get 15% off of your sugar cubes by Mio. We use it in an extra special blend of sugar that we actually grow ourselves on a Mio plant. Mio Farms. So as you can see, we are actually on our way to this place called Fun Time, something like that. Fun Time. So Mio's been really getting like a carb kick or something, and she's been really wanting to get into bread. I told her I was like, Mio, how are we gonna do this? You know the Mio girls are on a, on a no carb me. diet. I'll be there. But I told her, you know, like, whenever you need me, I'm going to do whatever I need to do. So, everyone, please use Mio Fun Times to get 10% off of a train ticket to Fun Time. All right. Bye, everybody. I need a raise. I'm so sick of running across these deserts. <sighs> I was so on board when I hit, came to Sumeru. She didn't tell me that there was miles of desert, hundreds of miles of desert. And I had to walk through this in my meal heels. And we all know that meal heels are not optimized for deserts. They're optimized for forests and metropolises. When I get back to Inazuma, I'm gonna have a real serious conversation with Mio. Hi, Sasa. <laughs> CMB, you didn't hear anything. <laughs> yes, Noelle threw her Mio Kasha into the water. That's what she did. That's a canon thing. She threw her Mio, her, her exclusive pink Mio Kasha into the water. <laughs> Do they not have a boat for a Mio girl? This is so humiliating. Mio knows that I hate flying into new towns like this because everybody can see me. Everyone's up there watching me fly down. This is so humiliating. I'm supposed to have a boat by Mio. She's really, something's going on. Why would she humiliate me like this? I'm going to die in the water right in front of everybody. Girl, whatever. Spoiler alert. I'm Fiorina. I'm coming into town to, I don't know. I don't know. All the actors are going to die or something. Isn't that the story? 
we're trying to put on a musical, but all the actors are like dead or something. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Vaughn. Everybody keeps saying there's a, there's a wave rider. There's a wave rider. I don't see a wave rider. I see waves. This is what I'm going to do. Okay. Kayamoni. Jocelyn said this was obnoxious to watch. That's not nice, Jocelyn. I'm good, Amoni. How are you? Look, I pulled Fiorina for a reason. Y'all said, oh my goodness, Fiorina is so good for Inazuma. Fiorina is good for Fontaine, baby. Oh my god, not again. Oh, we made it. Oh. After crossing all that sand and water, we finally made it. Oh. This must be Fontaine's porch. Fontaine? No, Paimon, this place is called Fun Time. Fun Time. It's like an amusement park that I think Mio's opening up. She wants us to be a manager. I'm sorry. I know I'm a little bit prickly today, Paimon. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed, and I just really hate when she makes me do these, like, managerial roles. I don't like being in, like, administration. I like being in media. I like being in, like, promotions and marketing. I don't like administration, but, I mean, you were in Sumeru. You were in Sumeru. How many meal girls can do the job that I can do? Like, who can do it better? So here we are. I'm supposed to be opening up, like, the theme park or whatever, fun time theme park by Mio. I'm good. My name was taken. How are you? Paimon's heard that the industry here is extremely developed, and there are all kinds of unusual machines. So I heard. It's about what I imagined. Just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice, but maybe it would be better if we found something to do. There is a chance you can finish your meal mission early by talking to the dog on this port on the lower level. Okay. What do you think? Um, let's start by meeting the Hydra Icon. I'm glad to hear that my name was taken. Seeking out the seven is probably still our best source for information at this point. Is it the best or is it the only one that we know of, Paimon? Because nobody's helped me so far. Yeah, the more we can learn, the better. So, what do you think the Hydro Archon's like? Will we get along? Nahida said that she has a very unique personality. Whatever that means. I know that she's got a unique skin texture because sitting right next to this desert with all this water, my pores are open. It's steamy, Paimon. Can we stop talking and get into the air conditioning? To learn about a nation's god, start with the nation's people. There seems to be some locals talking over there. Let's go see if we can join the party. If you ask me, it's a tragedy how things ended for him. Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. Excuse me, can you lead me to the, um, the embassy or something? Any place with air conditioning, really? I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm on, I don't... Uh, excuse me. Can I help you too? I couldn't help but notice you standing here listening. Well, I... Yeah, I'm trying to look for, like, the embassy. Okay, my name is... Um, well, that doesn't matter. I'm here representing Mio. Have you guys heard of Mio around here? No, no, no. It's not MLO. That's a multi-level marketing scheme. Mio is a, is, a, is a business. It's a business. Right. Like, we're opening up fun time. No, this place, yeah, fun time. Fun time. Fun time. Yeah. Oh, wait. I think right behind you, I think I see... No, I, I know who I'm looking for. There's a Miyoko right behind you. Don't worry about it. I'm so sorry for the confusion. Uh, hi. 
Uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about something that really happened. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few days ago. Really? Like, a real trial? But the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Paimon, okay, so let me tell you something about humans, because I know that you're a little poo-poo fairy or whatever. So, humans like to do this thing where they get really naughty and do bad things to each other. And then they like to sit in front of everybody and get judged about it. And everyone just like points fingers and they're like, you're so bad. <laughs> it's like fun for them or something. Um, I don't know because I'm from the stars, but. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. <laughs> Thank you, Nounix. Hi, Nounix. What's actually happened, Nounix, is I put on a little bit of concealer. Light bit of concealer. I didn't shave. And I said, if I put on glasses, then maybe it'll look like I'm going for a look. I really, I'm not. Y'all want to see the full outfit? I'm literally wearing the shorts that I ran errands in today. Like, there's no nice... <laughs> <laughs> whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. Hi, Magic Baffles. The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. Whether something is true or not is not simply important. Um, is not that important. Whether the story is being acted out on stage is splendid enough. I can appreciate that as the thespian, Rena. But as the streamer right now taking myself and breaking the fourth wall, it's giving TikTok. Not all of TikTok. TikTok does have some pretty valid information, but sometimes it doesn't. But we do like it because it's fun. Have y'all heard of what's happening in K-pop right now? Let me stop. Let's oh, keep going. But it looks like you're not from around here. <laughs> you probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. You probably don't know that Fontaine's Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles. Okay. But it is ju juicy, Kosu. Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things. It's just that putting someone on trial is usually a very serious thing. Well, yes, Paimon. Yes, I actually agree with that. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Nouvellet. As well as the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, a machine created by the Archon. Between the machine and the Chief Justice, false charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. I think I heard of a drag queen by that name, the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. I remember her. Oratrice Mechanique Denise Cardinal was actually in that one club that Toma took me to in Leeway. Oh, she's really good. I'm glad to hear that she's making it big. Oratrice? Is it some kind of machine too? Oh, my mind's curious. We should check it out if we get the chance. Oratrice Mechanique Denise Cardinal, she is a machine when she starts doing the splits on the stage. It's really fun, Paimon. I need to take you. If she's a, if she's got her own venue now, I need to take you, girl, because she's good. I love going to an Oratrice Mechanique Denise Cardinal show. <laughs> Wait, Paimon almost forgot to ask you a question. Um, do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. Just go to the Opera House. Lady Farina <laughs> practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. Fiorina? Why have I heard that name before? There's a lot of queens in this town, a, te a teen. Uh -huh. I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. Can I just commit a crime and then she'll come see me? Because it seems like y'all like that. Huh. Is the Hydro Archon super busy taking care of official stuff? Wait, didn't you say that she's always at the Opera House? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. Etienne, you know what else is popular? Speaking of popular... 
there is this dye that I did not know was being exported to Fontaine. I'm glad to know that Fontaine's borders are open, unlike another place I went to. Girl, let me tell you about this, Atene. If you like some petty drama, let me tell, let me spill a little bit. I went to this whole country that was blocked off. They had they had bum products, bum hair. Everybody was cutting their hair with like sticks and rocks in the dye jobs. Oh my god, if you can't they were dyeing their hair with like berries and like uh, some it wasn't bleach. It wasn't bleach. It was something else that should not it, there should be some like man regulations. I'm saying all this because there's someone behind you that I've been trying to talk to you for the past like 10 minutes. She has a meal beige 372. Can I That's right. After all, she is the archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time <laughs> to time, North people can't get enough of her. Huh. First time Paimon's ever heard of an Archon being described that way before. <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets it now! The Hydro Archon is kind of like a big celebrity here, right? Just like when, uh, Paimon, when you and I are in Sumeru, Liwei, Mondstadt, or even Inazuma. Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could even say our mascot. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Nouvellet. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here. But nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. I was going to say, Reyna, you scared me a little bit. I thought that this place didn't have free speech either. Okay, um, so now that, okay. Um, seems like the people of Fontaine really like the Hydro Archon. Right. I think we get it. Thank you. At least we now know that we can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. But who knows how long making an appointment will take. <sighs> Guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. Hey, what are you looking over there for? Paimon, did you notice that there's a girl over there who's wearing a Neil Beige 362? I think that that's our first correspondent. I was told that she would be in the embassy around the air conditioning, but it seems as though she's steaming her pores. Let's go check it out. If she did, it seems as though she's wearing the custom um, Hydro Repellent Neo uh, products. Maybe not the socks, though. We were trying to create a sort of water repellent sock, but it doesn't really work. And I know that for a fact because Ayaka was actually our um, our tester on that. We were making the whole line around Ayaka because she's got a <laughs> musty, wet sock, damp, moldy. Sometimes it turns blue. Sometimes it turns green. One time I saw her socks looked orange, and it... I'm just worried about Miss Girl Socks. That's all I'm saying. Maybe we better go check on her. I haven't gotten father yet. I did try to pull though. Hi everyone. My name's Serena. I'm kidding. <laughs> I heard you. I heard you. I heard you was talking about me. You see, every time, every time, every time you want to do something you always want to talk about me but when i show up you never want to post up does anyone know that meme or do i just keep saying that to uh, <laughs> to people who don't know <laughs> people who don't know what that meme is hi marcus i took your avenger <laughs> you don't want to post up you don't want to post up Yes, the little girls on the street. <laughs> when I want to, when I leave, you want to keep doing this. <laughs> let me focus. Let me focus. Uh, hello there. Excuse me. Are you all right? Huh? I didn't know she had a star on her face. Uh, I'm fine. Thanks. Hi, Andrew. Oh, okay then. We just noticed that you seem to be worried about something. 
Honestly, you know what? The idea of like having a bad day and like a total stranger being like, are you okay? That's really sweet of Paimon, you know? About many things, actually. Oh. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. You do need... Okay, I don't know your name, but I can tell by the hair that we are sisters in some kind of way. At least in a capitalistic marketing salesperson sense, like we're sisters in business. You need to have coping mechanisms because being a Mio girl... I'm sorry, are you... What's your name? Are you a Mio girl? I feel like you're a Mio girl. Have you heard of Mio girls? Hashtag Mio girls. Do you have... I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. See? You said brother. Thank you, Tignari, for the game controller. <laughs> that is hilarious. I think I know who this is. Uh, you're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait. Are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? Venus, it is sweet, but I would have a breakdown too. I'd say, well, stranger, do you really want the true answer? <laughs> and they'd say no. <laughs> no people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. Yeah, um, it's really interesting that there's lake next to all this hot desert. Does that bother you at all? How do you keep your hair so slick and not frizzy in these conditions? And no, I can still see that hill clearly in my memories. Now, it's been completely submerged. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. Oh, it's Mio Gel. Thank you, Tyson. But now, <laughs> the water is gradually swallowing our memories. And a Mio Bow. Okay. <laughs> The water is gradually stalling our memories. Okay, that feels like an important, um, you know, metaphor. It won't be long before it swallows us. Uh, sorry. Paimon doesn't really get what you mean. Paimon, she's talking about climate change. It's a little bit advanced for you. Ah, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Are you Lynette's new friends? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I'm sorry, sir, but I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. Don't worry. I'm an ally. I knew. I know who this is. This is Linny and Lynette, right? You guys are the, the meal girl and meal boy of Fontaine, right? Oh, and you are? That's, that's Linny, Paimon. That's Linny. These are legends in the meal girl's um, email circle in our Discord group, <laughs> in our, our group chat. Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny. Linny, yeah, I know. My sister Lynette. Lynette, I know, if yeah. I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Do I look exotic? I did get a little bit of a tan in Sumeru, but something about Tavat, I don't know what it is. Every time I get a tan, it's like I wake up the next day and I turn like alabaster white. Is there something up in this universe? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me catch you up. I'm from another universe. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. We just arrived in Fontaine. We were just talking with your sister. Uh, even though we didn't really get what she was saying. <laughs> a little tan, you mean a lot of tan. I mean, for Hoyover standards, we are tan, baby. <laughs> I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always the one talking for some reason. Paimon, sometimes face cards say everything that need to be said. <laughs> so Meal girl it? supreme. <laughs> I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. Lenny, don't do that to yourself. <laughs> so, what did Lynette mean just now when she said that the water is engulfing your memories? And that it won't be long before it engulfs you too? Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. I can't get over, I know that y'all are already like focusing on the drip marketing that's happening for like the character that's coming out two years from now, but I'm still stuck on Lenny and Lynette because this outfit eats. I would wear both of these outfits one day after the other until they smelled like potato chips because that's how good their outfits are. 
Like I would wear Linnies and then Lynette's. Linnies and then Lynette's. Everything. Working out, grocery shopping, going on a walk, going on a vacation. Like, this is an outfit, baby. Well, I suppose <laughs> prophecy isn't exactly the right word, because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. Okay, well, what is happening in Fontaine? Because I'm trying to get into the city. Where to begin? Spell. Hmm. Spell. Spell. Spell says... Phil says. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? We're meal girls and meal boy. I mean, whatever you want to be, Linny. I, you know, we don't care. Um, but yeah, the double bow tie. Like, get into it. It's the details. The double bow tie, but the one bow tie in the center. Okay, let's discuss this real quick. I know that y'all want me to like get into the story or whatever, but this is how I play this game, and this is how I'm into it, right? Linny has like these tones of like a purpley like brown almost it's like you can see it right here this right here on his hair the tips right here that's like kind of like the core of his like color scheme it rounds out with the eyes when you put a certain eye color on an anime character honestly even with contact lenses it creates a color story so he's got like hints of purple and all that stuff brown matches purple but by using an interesting new pattern, it not only breaks up a lot of monotony, but you can also introduce an even bigger pop of color, which is a light blue. That is dynamics, baby. That's dynamics. I can't dress like that. I don't know anybody who can dress like that. Like that's like, that's like advanced fashion. He's attenuated, exactly CMB. <laughs> Hello, traveler. Hi. And hello, Paimon. Don't touch, don't touch back there. Don't touch that. Don't touch back there, Lenny. Stop it, girl. Hey! Why did Paimon get a handshake? You're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? <laughs> Please don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Lenny, I want to tell you about a little bit of etiquette that I do as well. So what I did was give you a color story consultation, but we do that for free. Um, where I like where I'm a I'm a meal girl from another area, you know, so but where we do it, we do it for free. But because I did go deeper into the analysis out of passion, that will be a hundred and seventy dollar fee. Oh, all right then. Well, I must just have by the way. We were just getting ready to go to the opera house to meet the Hydro Archon. Which... Oh, so you're going to see Lady. Hi, Farina. Gigi. Thank Don't you, Gigi, for the all. gifts. In fact, I was planning to go to the opera house later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Please follow me. Are we going to the opera to see the Oratrice Mechanique d'Annalise Cardinal uh, drag show? Ooh, immersion. You know what, guys? I really like it here, I think. I was, I'm, <laughs> y'all, the flight in was so bad. And honestly, <laughs> Hi, Gaby. Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. Uh oh. The way I've never seen this character. Hi, Butter. I'm good. How are you? Thank you. Oh. Huh. So, she's the Hydro Archon? But how did she know we were looking for her? Queen Mio girl. Paimon, let me explain to you because it's getting serious, okay? Paimon, I was sent here to, as you know, administrate fun time by Mio Entertainment Complex. However, the reason why I came in with administrative privileges is because Fiorina 
is the mascot of Funtime Entertainment Complex. And she refuses to participate, not because she doesn't like being a meal girl, but because she's that famous and that, I'm going to say it for one time and I'm going to break my rule one time, she's that cunty. She's just saying no for fun. So it's my job to actually convince her to become the mascot of the entertainment complex. My dear people, rich and poor, those with cup in hand and those with nothing at all, raise your glasses in celebration. If you don't have one, then just raise your hand in lieu. She is so famous. We are so lucky to have a meal girl of this caliber. Familiar travelers have arrived in our nation. Come, let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and her companion who have journeyed here from distant lands. Hi, everyone. Yes, I am the original meal girl. I know, I know, I know. Furina, I don't compare to Furina, whatever. I mean,. <laughs> you can't compare two completely different stories, but I, I, I digress. Thank you guys so much for having me here in Fontaine. Uh, she talking about us? Yes, Paimon, this is what it's like to be famous, okay? Fontaine's about celebrity, okay? So you need to keep it calm, keep a good face. Everyone's watching. Hi, everyone. Don't mind the smell. I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you left in your wake as you visited other nations. But I welcome you nevertheless. No, I have come to receive you personally. You know what's really interesting though? Pause. This is the first, other than Venti, this is the first Archon to straight up be like, actually Venti wasn't even like this. Fiorina straight up was like, hi, I'm the Hydro Archon. I heard about what you did in all the other places. Don't come causing ruckus here. We're good to go. I can feel the tension. I kind of like that drama already. <laughs> Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. Of course, seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> correct banner. I pulled on your banner, Furina. I, Fosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now, Fosalor. you may rejoice in this. Fosalor Wikipedia. List of demons in the Ars Gosia. Fosalor. Fosalor is a powerful great duke of hell, commanding three or thirty legions of spirits. Fosalor is mentioned in the Lesser Key of Solomon as the 41st of the 72 Goshic demons. Is that how you say it? Gosh? Gertic? According to the Grimoire, Fosalor appears in the form of a man with griffin's wings, kills... I can't see that on TV. Unalives men, drowns them, and overthrows warships, but if commanded by the conjurer, he will not harm any man or thing. Fosalor has power over the wind and sea, and had hoped to return to heaven after 1,000 years, but he was deceived in his hope. She's got resentment. She's got resentment. Well, that was easy. Glad to find some Archon that isn't, you know, crying in a cage somewhere. Yeah, Paimon still can't believe it. Feels like we've only been here for a few minutes. But the Hydro Archon's entrance was, uh, how should Paimon describe it? A little over the top? That's rich coming from you, Paimon, smelling the way you do and being as loud as you are. <laughs> Speaking of loud, Paimon said over everybody yelling at her up there. Ah, I see. As outlanders, <laughs> you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. <laughs> Don't forget that even the gods can be 
divided into the mediocre and the excellent. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. I suppose it's only natural. <laughs> I like how she said that. I suppose it's only natural. <laughs> you had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. And what you're going to... Okay, Fiorina, pause. What you're going to discover is I don't need 40-inch extensions out of the back of my bob like you do. I appreciate it. You're pulling it off, but let's just be real. That's a ridiculous haircut. The second thing that you'll figure out is my pores are not enlarged by this nasty, nasty, terrible, fresh water steaming pond that you live on top of. Third thing you're going to find out is I'm here for my money, and I'm here for the collaboration, and I'm here to represent Mio Incorporated. Yes, we did move from LLC to Incorporated. All this personal yappy, 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 I'm not here for petty drama. Oh, talk about sounding high and mighty. Right, like if Yorina's going to read me, the library's open. Like, let's get it going. <laughs> I like Furina. No, I like Furina. Oh, what's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? Hmm, what else should I say then? You don't have to say anything, Furina. Nobody asked actually for you to say anything in the first place. Uh, is she waiting for us to start talking? I can start talking, but I don't know if she wants me to. Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait, does this mean they're the I like Farina. Traveler? How did I not notice before? Yes, Rina, I noticed that your blonde is souring a little bit. It's getting a little yellow, orangey. I am actually selling for a nominal fee legendary blonde by Mio. I, it's, a, it's a blonde that was actually made after me. Hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? Um, I have to say, though, they really upped the ante. Like, right when you get to the zone, not only is the zone really... Thank you, Kosu. I need to read challenge. Read them. <laughs> Genshin characters and Pokemons. I don't care. <laughs> Thank you, Kosu. Not only was it really interesting getting into Fontaine, it has like this whole grand look to it and like it's really fun to come in. Like Sumeru kind of had like a good entrance as well, but Fontaine has a whole like picture. But they also, the NPCs are also quite diverse as well. Like uh, in comparison to the past expansions, I don't get me wrong, I like them, but I can just tell that they've upped the ante, you know? Of course. That's the blonde Hi, traveler. The one all those stories are about. Lady Farina came here to I haven't seen that one yet, Is. Oh, I bet this is gonna be the duel of the century. They all want us to read each other. Fiorina Is this because The Orichis Mechanique Denalise Cardinal, I knew that she would have an impact because I've always said all it takes is some funding and a budget, and that girl's gonna go far, and she's gonna have an impact. And I can tell already that she has created a pop culture and fun time entertainment complex. The library is open because it's all we're all born naked, and the rest is drag and fun time and entertainment complex. I get it now. Let's read. Ooh, I've got to see this. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. I know, I know, I know, I know what what. <laughs> never mind. I have to. <laughs> Too excited now. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy. And despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this traveler from another land, just as you were hoping to see. Now, Fiorina, I can lip sync, but I can't do splits, anything like that. Can we not do a dance challenge? <laughs> Fighting gods, I've got a resume. <laughs> Who wrote that line and put that there? <laughs> Who wrote that line and put that there? That one was made for me. <laughs> Are you not afraid? Might I remind you that this is a duel against the divine? 
What are you trying to do, Tyler? <laughs> Provoking a god in front of her people? Who are you? I don't even know who you are, babe. All the trailers that the entire Genshin fandom has been sending me, all the screenshots, all the names that they've been dropping, I've never heard your name before. So who are you? <clears throat> Stand down, Clorend. I admire her bravery. Hi, Pidgey. Few have the courage to draw their sword against a god. She is obviously a true boy. That's Chlorine. <laughs> Chlorine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the chat, Yayo. <laughs> Oh, you will know her. People nowadays only <laughs> That's auntie. Be thrilled, and a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. I like Fiorina. The way that she has everybody. Okay, wait. Okay, anybody who's joining now, I like to key, but I also get really, really into like metaphors and the narrative and stuff. The fact that she showed up and everybody's just like watching her, I feel like that might be something, a theme of this. Huh. Yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. <sighs> On Araneus, criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. I'm getting... I see. Then, as the god of justice, I shall face the justice. traveler in another kind of duel. A duel in court! Fiorina, you're gonna have to be very careful on that larynx and those vocal cords if you're challenging me to a pageant. Because where I come from, we don't call it a court, we call it a pageant. In the talent section, I hope you're not singing because you're already straining them chords, baby. Ooh, all right. Now that'll be worth seeing. <laughs> right. This is Fontaine, after all. <laughs> Such a grand opera house, it would be a pity not to use it. Why do you care so much about the crowd's reactions? Seems you've spent a little too much time in the Opera House. Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? We literally just arrived here. No, I love that the protagonist is getting a little bit sassy with Fontaine's sassiness. <laughs> we literally just arrived here. Have you watched the official animation of Acro- No, I haven't. People have been asking for it though. I guess you could say her people see everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? Oh, those cheap contact lenses got clocked the moment I showed up. Nobody nobody believes the the uh, facade anymore because when I showed up with my Mio lenses, because you've been too stubborn to collaborate with Mio, you think that you're too good for Mio products. When I showed up, everybody could clock that you're wearing literal, like, K-pop iridescent blue, and it's looking weird now. According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits during the first three days of each month. You are clearly guilty of violating this law, no? I literally had to fly in because y'all don't have an airport and I don't ride on boats because it's bad for my hair and skin, Fiorina. So you put me between a rock and a hard place. Am I supposed to show up looking ugly and busted so you can come and read me? Or am I supposed to show up looking good so I can read you back? Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Mm, that's our lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine like she does. You call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Wait, flying object? <gasps> you mean Paimon? It's not you, Paimon. It's the Duke Duke in your diaper that's already starting to calcify. You haven't changed it since we came to Sumeru, and now we're in Fontaine. Precisely. Now, if you two have no objections, then in the name of the Hydro Archon, I order your arrest. We're already getting arrested for your smell, Paimon, and I... <laughs> I really, really, Paimon, I really, really tried to hold my own, but we're humiliated at this point. My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun, but if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying object. Lenny, you're being very nice, but we all know what Farina's talking about. You tell her, Lenny! Finally, someone who's not crazy! How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? We are really trying to gaslight everyone around us when the smell is literally in our nostrils at the moment. Paimon, it's not you, it's... 
it's the flying object on you. I'm sorry, baby, but it's levitated above the ground and it's attached to your body. Ah, great magician, Linny, my beloved citizen. I'll permit you to object, but how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. Are you gonna pretend to be- oh, God. I'm in such- I'm in such like a spicy mood today and I'm having fun, but I have to be nice. <laughs> yes, honey. This is really pretty and I get what you guys are going for. I love the confetti effects. Honestly though, taking myself out of this real quick, the little confetti effects are really cute. I just don't know if we should be applying heat to that area. It seems as though he's installed some sort of heat device drawstring to hopefully like help evaporate some of the more thick fog that's been <laughs> circulating your body, Paimon. It also seems to be a sort of drawstring mechanism so we can easily dump that Duke Duke diaper into the Fontaine waters. It's decalcifying. It's decalcifying. <laughs> Not it's decalcifying. <laughs> As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. Why are they dragging Paimon like this? They've dehumanized her on so many levels. Huh? You call that magic? You've got to be joking. Reyna, I can hear you. You want to chew a mag magic trick? I thought not. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Nice one. Oh, the peanut gallery wants to read my friends. No, because last I checked five minutes ago, y'all were all open mouth, flies in your mouth, flying in and out of your nasty, stinky mouths, watching your Miss Queen up there with her busted bob and long, unmatched extensions. Now y'all want to be the peanut gallery because Paimon's getting dragged. Y'all aren't going to come for Paimon. I can only come for Paimon. Huh. I'm not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. <laughs> amusing. Very amusing, Lenny. Just the sort of unexpected <laughs> twist that I enjoy. With Did you here, today's performance can finally be called complete. Performance? You see all this as a performance? I get it now, Paimon. No, 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 Paimon. It's okay, Paimon. I was called here to be administrative. What they... That was just like a title. I can tell why they hired me here. Because if there's one thing I'm going to do is a yes and. And Miss Farina's all about that. When I get done with this place, the Fun Time Entertainment Complex is going to be the most popping area of Tavad. Just you wait. In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. The god of but when there are valid grounds. No, I love Furina's look. I love Furina's look. I um I mean obviously these eyes are gonna represent something because in the last stream I'm pretty sure, or the one before that, everyone was telling me that the eyes have symbolism and I didn't notice that until it was brought up. Um, but I don't really know what that means other than the fact that she's the Hydro Archon. But what I really like is that Fiorina, I didn't know this about Fiorina until this scene, but Fiorina is all about drama and putting on a show and performance. So it's fitting that she's doing like a sort of jester style. She looks like a jester, right? Because the eyes, the lashes have those little jinglies on it. Um... And I, I, yeah, that's the reference there. She's also, I see some people saying that they really like that she has like a mixture of like a feminine silhouette with a masculine silhouette. I keep saying this, look up Uji fashion. It is a subculture of um, Lolita fashion and Japanese fashion. 
Uji is all about like that princely look, like that petite princely look. It looks exactly like Furina. But even the gods of other lands. <laughs> I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! Toodaloo! Paimon, I like her, but don't tell her that. I like her, but don't tell her that. I mean, Linny's kind of giving that too. Typically, you don't see a uh, male presenting people wearing Uji, even though it's a very masculinized look. But the whole point of it is androgyny anyway, so there's no real rule behind it, in my opinion. Thanks for belling us out, Linny. It's a good thing that I can handle myself on stage. Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. I didn't think it would actually come in handy. So, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? She's a big queen, yes, Linny. She can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Um. Anyway, Paimon had no idea you were a magician, Linny. It sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? Hi, Neil. <laughs> Keep an I eye for the dogs, Bestie. Okay, I will. I used to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. Okay, Pickled. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine, the Opera House. But isn't the Opera House where criminal trials are held in Fontaine? When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. That's so real. Any theater kid in chat will know this. Any stage with a group of queens is going to turn into a show. I don't know what it is, but that's like a cosmic law of the universe is if you have an auditorium area and it has a stage with lighting and it's on, don't put a bunch of queer people into that space together because they will eventually start like doing improv. Like that's just like how it is. And speaking of performance, Neil, I love them. They make the world go I round. I would be remiss to forego this opportunity. Thank you so much, Celeste. Might I invite <laughs> the two of you to see my performance? I love a good show, Lenny. My brother's always excited to make new friends. I did pull for her, Gabs, but um, I will keep pulling on her banner, yes. Oh, sure. We don't really have anything to do now. Okay, Celeste, I'll be still players. streaming for um, at least like 40 or so more minutes, so feel free to come back if you got time and want to. I always say, just come to the stream as much as you want. I do the stream Flying Duke Duke. Interesting. I always say the stream is here for your background noise. I'm here just yapping. Like, I'm having a fun time regardless. Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Oh, you really mean it? Then I'll take you up on your offer. Thank you, Etsy. Hi, Wolf. I hope you're doing good. This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them Easty to the Weasty here. Spider. <laughs> that's, so, that's a funny name. This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them. Okay. Huh? What are they going to use it for? Linny, this is just a bag. Like a big bag. About that. Hmm. You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Okay, so if this is like sort of the thesis statement of Fontaine right here, let me just, I know that he's going to keep explaining, but I like to make the predictions. Like even when I'm like with my boyfriend and we're like hyped up for a new game, I love to make predictions about stuff. What happened to stream avatars? Has that not been up this whole time? 
Let me put stream avatars up. I am so sorry, y'all. Based uh, while I, <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Based on um the the tier motif that I'm seeing in Farina and this picture right here, it says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds a trial after holds trial after trial. Read Paimon to Phil. <laughs> The sin cannot be absolved. So maybe Furina has this like curse of like constantly seeing the bad and everything. So maybe Paimon's flies. So maybe she's trying to like over adjust, overcompensate for it by making everything joyful and fun in theater. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Stream avatars is almost open. Okay, so I get I get why the world is the way it is now. That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine? Gooey, oh she's just like me then. What is that supposed to mean? Crazy how the very first sin was a city of people destined to drown. <laughs> Crazy how the very first sin was... I <laughs> there are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? So I feel as though I know that, like... This game references a lot of different forms of spirituality, but this one feels... I'm going to make a prediction now that this one is going to be the most ham-fisted representation of maybe... Christian themes. Not saying that, you know, subscribing to those beliefs is a bad thing, but it, I, I am interested to see because the idea of a sin being present, even though nobody knows exactly what they did wrong. <laughs> That's exactly what the people did at first. But, in the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. But now the water is engulfing our memories. Hmm. Oh. Many places have already been completely submerged, and now lie beneath the sea. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, we've started distributing When you're born, you're naked today. and that's a sin. <laughs> As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when Hi, people Bea. are moving their belongings. Oh, Hyman gets it. It's like preparing for a rainy day. But this is more than a bit of rain. So, Linny... Is there any way to prevent this disaster? Because as the new administration leader of the ad admin department of the entertainment complex fun time, this is definitely something that we are not planning on. We were not planning on any water rights. Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> but who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. Okay, so I'm supposed to be looking for dogs. There's a building in the shape of a guillotine. Their roost looks as the best. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna look for that. I just want to say real quick, because I thought about this, I don't know if this was the design choice. Girl, let me turn this down. This water is loud. Y'all are really sinning. Okay. Um, Sumeru is interesting because Sumeru is like the closer you get to the idea of knowledge, the more like lush the 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 garden of Sumeru is. 
And then the further away you get from it, I know that like things have been sort of resolved in the storyline, but the history of it is like the further away you get from it, the, the, the less that you were like sort of believing in the God of knowledge, the more desolate it becomes. And then immediately you see Fontaine, which is just this like almost oasis next to the desert. Right. But this oasis is literally people like, like people, like people, <laughs> this is like people like this right here. I'm swimming in people. Okay, let me turn this back up. Let's, um, let's find this dog. Hi. Have you seen a dog? The laugh of the water is loud from all the city because the city of fruits. Are y'all sending me on a wild goose chase? I don't see a dog. Somebody told me to look for dogs. He's inside the area Farina was. A lot of people are like, I don't know what you're talking about with the dog. Beetle, I love Noel. They're actually further in the city. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to these people then, and then I'll keep looking for a dog as I move in. Unless I can just move in. Miss Fawn, I humbly ask that once you reach Fon Fountain Fontaine, you'll know it when you see it, to turn your volume settings all down except for voice lines and sit under the fountain. It's really gaggy. Oh. To turn all your... S to turn your volume settings all down except for voice lines. Okay, I'll do that. Have y'all seen a dog? Okay, I'm just gonna finish this quest and then I'll keep moving in for the dog. What's this? Uh, so you also believe in the prophecy. <laughs> keep it, I won't have any use for it. What? You mean... No, no, I believe in the prophecy. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live mm -hmm. apart from it. No, no, I know, I know. Her name's, um, um, Kokomi, yeah. Ankonomiya, yeah. But as time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within the That's gross. Bottle. You ask me, and the water rises and takes us... Oh. <sighs> All right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water. So you're the blonde traveler. Okay, um, Easty Weezy uh, Spider. Well, my apologies for not recognizing you earlier. I know fish have blood vessels. All I'm, oh, right, because he was like, I live in the water, but like fish have blood vessels. So like, what makes you different? Like you still need blood, duh. I get what you're saying, CMB. Oh, a magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the, thanks. Oh, you're welcome. This place reminds me of this one song I know by Stephanie Germanata. Huh? I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cry. You should still take it. You never know. Oh, all right, fine. But thanks. It's just that if I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. Galathy, let me know you now. Let me let you know this now. You don't have to move. You don't have to do anything. But this is a meal tote bag that you're being given for free. Okay? These things are going to sell really, really, really well. So when you do inevitably have to move with this tote bag, 
You'll be able to sell it and just hire movers, babe. I know a really, really good place called Economia. It is just, it's just like this place. Well, it's above Economia. But the real estate will probably be more affordable for you in Economia. But I'm going to hook you up with someone named Kokomi. She's a meal girl. Oh, I have to go over here. You just have to live with a few sharks. Oh, you already <laughs> handed out all of the magic pockets? Hm. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some uh, interesting opinions. There's no way that they didn't say that to the voice actor. When you read Lenny, you have to make a girly pop. Like, he sounds so, like, if I spoke like this in middle school, I would get made fun of. I mean, I'm not making fun of him because I think it's Slay, but you get what I'm saying. Like, it's not conventional for a Western voice actor. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? It's really so benevolent of Noel to spread the good word of meology. <laughs> yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the court of Fontaine. He's Since a voice actor from Frieza. I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help. Many hands make light work. Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. I see people talking about Lenny's controversy, and I actually have some um, some um, information on that because y'all know the four beat. What is that? Oh, this is that baguette that Mio was looking for. Hi. Woof, woof. All right. I shan't disturb you any further, baguette. Woof, woof. Now, tell me why... I thought that this was a rumor, but I just... Mio has been working on an exclusive designer dog line, and... I knew there was a reason why she had me come here. That dog... Look, like, that dog is... I'm sorry. This dog is eating... Look at its eyes. <sighs> Only the dog is quiet now. We match, girl. Baguette, you can hang with me if you want. I know you're busy or something, but you can hang. Just hit me up. Um, what was I saying before I got distracted? Oh, the 4B movement in Korea. There's a reason why, like, it's so, like, uh, so, um so fiery and like for a long 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 time south korea not a long long time but like since like the advent of the internet and so culture in south korea is there and like it's to the point where um characters in video games that do this korean incels legitimately think that they're making fun of their manhood like it's like a character you know how arlequino goes like that I can guarantee you that because there's a, they literally find one frame. They did it to the Maple Story Girl too. They find one frame that does this, and they go into these conspiracy theories that women who are working in these fields are purposely trying to humiliate them. Like it's literally a delusion that these people have. So when Lenny came out, those guys had a big problem with him. Um, but yeah, yeah. 
It's like there's like there's there's a really really interesting documentary I watched on it. Um, the little outfits the dogs wear in Fontaine are so cute. Oh, do they wear outfits? <laughs> okay, let's go. Sorry, everybody. Y'all know me. I like to meander. It's taken me like almost two hours to get up this elevator. <laughs> Yeah, and like, you know, you guys know that the people who've heard about the K-pop drama, there's a lot of misinterpretation happening because a lot of Westerners are missing the context of why this woman is being so defensive and feels like it's coming out of nowhere. It's because being a woman working at that high level in Korea is very, 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 it's already difficult to be a woman. But to be working in the Korean, any Korean industry as a woman, as an executive, is very very hard and that woman does not have a clean rap sheet but she does have a lot of valid things to say about a company of men who did not believe in her now want to take the ip new jeans that she made they they specifically tried to undermine her in every way that they possibly could and did not believe in new jeans and then once new jeans debuted they tried to take her out of her position and take new jeans come on now come on now and when she and when she speaks up about it, she's seen as crazy. Sorry, sorry. I find that really interesting. <laughs> Furina had a freeze frame where she did, yeah, and they got really mad. Yeah, see, so that's probably it. It's probably not specifically Linny. Linny probably didn't help because you know, these kind of some men have this like conspiracy theory that people are trying to feminize men. It's like, girl. You don't have to be femme. And honestly, a lot of y'all can't pull off femme. So y'all don't have to worry about that. Femme guys exist and people like femme guys. But you don't have to be femme. <laughs> the water's speaking to me. Oleana of Pokemon? I don't know who that is off the top of my head. I guess it is, Josu. It depends. It depends on how you use it. People use it in different contexts. The water. Hello? <laughs> Pyman will leave the diving... Okay. Okay. I, I promise... I promise I'm getting back to the story. A mysterious power that flows from the statue to imbue with the blessing of transoceanic source water... Okay, I can swim. Wait, I want to play as them. The Adepti and Legends you told me about seem really amazing. That's a meal water infant? Yep, that's exactly it. Those are cute. Little rat girls. I'm kidding. <laughs> They're really cute. I like them. I would like a figurine of them. Oh, it's another dog. Wait. Y'all told me I had to talk to the dog. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's cool. I like actually went up the elevator. Collect the materials used to make magic pockets. Oh. I think you're the only streamer I genuinely enjoy compare some of them to other Genshin streamers. Well, thank you so much. I stream Genshin Friday and Saturday, BB.
Get them, crab. Am I the only... Do you guys do this too? Like, I have a main, right? I can't do anything without being on my main. Like, I know that Furina technically would be better and I could just stay on Furina, but it doesn't feel right to play. Wolf, if you're still here, thank you for the cheer you ups. Thank you. Right, okay. I'm glad to know that everyone does that. <laughs> like, I just... I have to be on my main. Like, work of that, I can tell you're an experienced traveler. <laughs> I've also finished collecting a few here. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. No way. I'm in power saving mode today. Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the Opera House. <sighs> Fine. Though the performance is still a long way Oh. D says, um, I love here, all my characters. We should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. So, we're going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Good. Paimon wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... <sighs> I'll answer for her. Paimon likes slime. Do you guys have slime around here? That's you with Nouvelles. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Because I legitimately will climb up the side of a mountain knowing full well I could just change over to Venti, but I won't because it doesn't feel right. Huh? What's wrong with her? Paima didn't notice anything. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Oh, it's called Moose here. Okay, okay. Magicians and Thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and... Okay. Watch her movements carefully. Ooh. Oh, he's right! Baby, you got pickpocketed. Shh, keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. Oh, CMB made a really good point earlier, IDK, if you saw. Could the magic pockets be used for Paimon's diaper? They have infinite storage so they could help us hide the smell. We're definitely going to have to think about that. When I get to the hotel, I'm going to see if I can um, just put Paimon in the bag. You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. Hi, Oscar. This is my day job, Oscar. So just remember... <laughs> All the likes help. <laughs> All right, let's go. I used to be a cook, though, if you're wondering. I used to be a cook. I still am in my heart, but I've moved on to Chapter 2. Chapter 2, I'm in my content creator era. We'll see how long that lasts. Attention, pickpockets. Attention, pickpockets. What do I specialize in? Well, I live, I'm country. I live in the South, so I'm like really good with soul food, but I'm also like Korean. So I, I often, whenever I was like working in like um, catering or working in um, sort of like batch cooking areas, I always was the person who was told to do like um, the Asian food. Because I guess I, no one knows how to use soy sauce. I don't know. They would like, they'd be like, I need you to make like an Asian food thing. And I was like, okay. So what you're asking for is like fried rice. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> so some soul food, some Korean food, but I've, I've made a lot of different things. Don't ask me to do French cuisine. I'm not trained. I did not get schooling. Leave me alone about that. Some people are so up in their butt about French cuisine, and I'm like, I get it. There's a lot of cool techniques that I've learned from people trained in French cuisine, but I also don't have like $20,000 for someone to tell me how to cook a steak. I have to cook a steak right now because I have bills to pay. Hi, Moth. Yeah, Oscar. I mean, they, the thing is, is like a lot of the places that I worked did like acknowledge the fact that they didn't know about Asian food the way that I do. So they, I did get the opportunity to sort of express myself a lot. Like I never was in a kitchen where I felt as though I was making something that didn't represent what I think is good Asian food. I would always cook it in the style of Korean, the way that like my grandmother taught me. Right. But a lot of Americans, um, 
just call things Asian food, even though there's a big we difference between it, it all. I'll be there. Did you ever use a slime slime in a dish? This is the spot where Lenny Eggs, but I cook them. Oh, look! Isn't that her? I just noticed that my shirt's inside out, guys. We'll call it fashion, okay? Oh no! Did she notice us? She started running the other direction! <laughs> Elmer glue slime, no. The frills, thank you. The, yeah, they're frills. I have frills on today. Thank you, Oscar, for the gifts. They really go a long way for me. Thank you so much. Uh, you're right. She might also be trying to lure us away. Shoulder pads, right. Nothing's happened for a while now. I'm a wonder if Lenny got Fashion pioneer. <laughs> Glycine slime. Is Sonic Frontiers better than Genshin Impact? I can't compare those two. I tried to give you an answer. I know that you're just asking to be funny, but I can't compare those two. <laughs> Sonic Frontiers is honestly a pretty good game. If you want my honest opinion, I think Sonic Frontiers was one of the best Sonic games Are they've you made. you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. N no, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. Anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Attenzione, pickpockets. Oh, Attenzione, pickpockets. Oh, you guys fix it. I was running around telling everyone there was a pickpocket. That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Lenny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was okay. Um, Slime Ranchers or Genshin Impact? Maple Story. Oh, did you get hurt, Lenny? I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle. That's all. In fact, Sonic it's Forces or Genshin already. Impact? Maple Story. If you want to play it being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. Do you guys know how hard it is to do these types of braids? Like these like braids that you braid into your hair? I can't ever do it. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more <laughs> skilled than I had anticipated. <laughs> but at least we were maple able story to get maple the story. Items back, um so it wasn't Tales a complete Runner. failure. Right in the end, though. Hi, Sam. Um, bonjour, Sam. Wait, no, Sam. I'm gonna try, okay? I'm gonna try to say uh, baguette. Right. Sam Let's taught me months ago how to say baguette. Us. Well, we the right way. I say baguette, but I'm gonna... Now. No, you taught me how to say croissant. I, you didn't teach me how to say baguette. Sam, look. I have to show you, Sam, okay? Wait, 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 wait. While we go down these, uh... While we go down this long elevator... Let me pause this audio real quick. Baguette. No, baguette. I want the French pronunciation. French pronunciation of baguette. I want the French pronunciation. Baguette. 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 Look, everybody. Hi, Kinetic Energy. Look, it's, um... Everybody say ho to... Say ho. Say hi to the first Mio dog. Baguette.
Baguette. I'm having a great time, Sefi. Have I gotten any story done? Probably not. But am I doing this? Baguette. <laughs> I am. It's fun. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, Sam. I'm sorry if that came off bad. I thought it was funny. You can call me stupid if you want to. I know that that was probably stupid. So, we ride this thing to go into the city? What an ingenious way to get around! People in Fontaine really know how to use water! It was fun. Okay, good. <laughs> this is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. So long. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. I can't get over how good their outfits are. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that... Do uh, not jump out well, of the bus. You don't really talk that much. Okay. Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. <laughs> it's the same as being at home. <laughs> I love, I love that I have some people watching who are genuinely scared that I will get the impulse to jump out <laughs> of the transportation device. <laughs> Whatever. Guess that's what it's like to be an older brother. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. Next meeting in order to prepare for Natlin, we're going to learn French Creole and not French. Ooh, well, you know I'm multilingual, so. I love the train. Oh my god, I love the train. <laughs> you jumped. Oh, excuse me. Aren't you the great magician Linny and his assistant Lynette? I have a question for you, stranger. Is that an Agora Mio classic bob that I see? Hello. I don't believe we've... I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. Okay, so... Not only do we have performers, actors, magicians, and really just gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous girls, we also have drop dead gorgeous journalists, so we can have a whole propaganda scheme here. Wait, could that be the legendary traveler who's been making headline after headline in their journey across Tibet? <laughs> Mio told you when you went and got that bob, right? Because I can tell that's a Mio asymmetrical bob, and she told you all about me. Are you thinking about trying the legendary blonde? We just released it. of a reporter if I didn't know who's who, would I? Wow, today must be my day. Who knew I would end up on the same boat as so many VIPs? Could my vision finally be showing me some favor? So, Charlotte, what do you usually report on? Well, when there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. You could still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. <laughs> Me on TikTok. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. Oh, that's fine and all, but what I'm really after is exclusive, sensational news pieces. Me and Charlotte are like this. <laughs> These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. Oh, I just Me with Panera? I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases, actually. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? That's right. These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. Y'all have kidnappers here. If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steambird... Oh, when that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. 
I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. So, what is the serial disappearances of young women case? You mean the culprit hasn't been found? I've never seen any kidnappers in all of my journeys into VOD. This is really scary. That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. <laughs> Hatchy Wachy and TikTok said Charlotte is definitely a true crime podcast girl. And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age and that they've all vanished without a trace. But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls have ever been found. Mio did get kidnapped. I forgot about that. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection Our body with got case, kidnapped by Nahida. After each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. Then there must be more than one criminal. No. Maybe there are copycat criminals. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. I really like how Fontaine has started off, honestly. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family It's full of, of personality and novelty. Some sort of explanation. The the town is gorgeous. The characters are charming. I it's I, I want to sink my teeth into it. I'd pay any price to get her back and then find a way to track down the culprit. Please like honestly, could you imagine? Thing? Could you imagine what this would feel like? Like whenever I see high fantasy like this, I imagine like what would it feel like to be on the aqua bus? I feel like that would be really cool. I just noticed something. Um. Oh. Oh well. Don't jump out, Paimon. Oh, the music changed. Ooh, I like Fontaine. I like Fontaine. This, I, this is my kind of place. This is my kind of city, y'all. Like, I like Sumeru and stuff, but all that calculations, algorithms, books. <laughs> this is cute. This is cute. They got good amenities. They got air conditioning. The water's crystal clear. We love theater. Like, this is my place. It's so art deco. You're right, Vike. You're so right. I'm chatting with you. Life should be you to get to. I should get going before I'm late. Okay. Hyman hopes we can chat again soon. Exactly, right? Jimmy. Yeah. Minus the sin-filled water and kidnapping is such a nice town. <laughs> Bye now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the Steambird when you have time. The water is the souls of the original sinners. What so coquette. Job. <laughs> Always running around Sandy. and interviewing everyone? <sighs> well, where should we go now? If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. I want y'all, because this is something that my brain does. First, I want to say this, because someone mentioned, I think Comet mentioned it, how are they going to one-up Fontaine? I'm kind of messy, honestly. I really love when games are live service like this and they've existed for a long period of time. I love playing a really, really good patch, knowing that they're not going to be able to one-up it. Like, there always needs to be breathing room when there's, like, a really good expansion. I can't pass judgment on Fontaine yet because I haven't finished it. But not all of them are going to be winners. And sometimes when they're really, really good, it takes, like, one or two for it to get back to it. That's fun. Rest in peace, 14. No, 14, Dawn Trail is going to be the good one. Endwalker was god-awful. Other than the 24 man. Don't get me started on that. This is what I wanted to ask. What do you guys think Lenny's house smells like? I think that his house smells like vanilla candles.
Because when people invite, this is something that happens. When people invite me to their house, I immediately am like, what is their house going to smell like? <laughs> Fun fact, the Aquabus is inspired by the real train with hydraulic motor that's currently in development in Europe. Oh, the results are optimistic for future. That's cool, Sam. Let's see what people are saying. Rainbow roses. Something fruity and sweet. Red velvet cake. Rainbow roses. Dark amber. Oud. Vanilla or lilac. Bergamot cologne. Well, it would be a spoiler to say. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> Someone said baguette. That one Britney Spears fragrance. Oh, Pixie. Poor, poor, poor Lynette. I know that she can't. That's why she's so quiet. She's traumatized. Oh, I have to go to the fountain. Hey, it's Baguette! <laughs> you using Goro? Cinnamon incense? Ooh. I was told in my Mio Kasha device to do this, so give me just a second, Paimon. Turn everything down except for voice lines. Not this fountain. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Um. It'll tell me when I get to the fountain? Okay. We're gonna go for a little bit more though. I don't know how far I'm gonna get, but we're gonna keep going. Let's keep pushing story. Is there a... Okay, it looks like it's on the way. I know Lynette is tired of Lenny stealing her perfume. <laughs> Someone needs assistance. You know, you know, if I was Lenny, if I was Lenny, I don't care if I was Lenny, if I was Lynette's sibling, you know I would be putting that bow on when she's not home. When she leaves to go get groceries, I'm putting that bow on and I'm looking at myself in the mirror just because I want to see if I can eat it too. I'd be putting on the whole outfit. Mio fragrance. <laughs> Wait, is Lynette the is the is Lynette the head of Mio fragrances? This is our current abode. Ah, Fremine, your home. Where did everyone else go? I have some. Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. I see. Everyone is getting busier now that Father will be returning soon. I suppose that can't be helped. Wait, no, no. Who am I? Wait, I can't do this hand. I can't, my hands are clammy. <laughs> Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremine. He is a phenomenal diver. Uh, hello. Hi. You like diving? Head of Mio Fragrance. What a talented family. <laughs> uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? Someone heard he's a phenomenal diaper. <laughs> Easy wheezy spider. It seems as though the dialogue is also being handled differently because sometimes hmm. it's moving ahead okay. even when is it's not on auto. Is everything all right? Oh, it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, before I forget, the traveler and I collected <laughs> Sorry, more materials Gilly. to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremine? Diaper boy. <laughs> yes. I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. That's our Fremine. Always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. 
That was only during the boat ride because they couldn't stop the boat. Oh, okay. Looks like rain. Looks like they're calling for- Do y'all know that song? Oh, you're right! But, wasn't it clear and sunny just a moment ago? Hmm, Fontaine's weather sure is weird. I bet something really, really morbid is happening right now. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the Opera House, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. Lenny, didn't you tell me that, like, the water here is made of, like, y'all's sins and stuff? Is this a person? <sighs> hmm? What's wrong, Fremine? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Though we don't know where the dragon went, every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. Dragon of Water once resided in Fontaine, though we don't know where the dragon went. Okay. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Keep this in memory? Don't okay. Cry. Okay, so this is interesting, actually, because I was wondering, I was like, so... Obviously, dragons exist in Tavat. But I saw, like, one kind of in Leeway. I still don't really know if it was, like, real. But, like, the only one I know of is Storm Terror. Like, for sure. If it's an elemental dragon, then the power and then, like, Inazuma seems to have, world. like, dead dragons? It's literally Kokomi? Oh, if it's an elemental dragon, then having the power to make... Okay. Hmm. Is it? I don't know. You meet one of the dragon sovereigns in Nahida's second story quest. Oh, okay. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend after all. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. Or could at least play along. The only side story stuff that I've done other than Archon things is... Um, um, I, A. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've That's never fine, though. I'm getting to a point dragon. now where Perhaps I'm catching up with you guys, so... Of strangers. I don't mind learning that information now that we're so close. And I still would like to feel the full hmm. context of it everyone's story if I get the chance it. anyway. Oh, it's already getting late. But I like dragons because I'm a nerd, so I was like, oh, are there dragons? Was there something you needed to do, Lenny? Yeah, Mia, in wet feet. Yeah, some preparations <laughs> for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Okay. Oh, uh, are you leaving now? What is it, Fremine? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I get it. You feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets. <laughs> Nahida sees it? everything. Perhaps we could trouble the traveler to help us take these materials to the Beaumont workshop and deliver them to the owner there? I'm afraid that Fremine can be quite <laughs> introverted. And the boss there tends Aww. to be pretty talkative. Fremine has always been a little afraid of her. I'm gonna make a call now. Y'all know y'all know me. I love to draw great great crazy um conclusions based off of being literally 20 minutes into the story Linny is pyro which is elementally antagonistic towards water which makes sense why he's so sassy lynette is animo which in this universe tends to sort of go with the flow fremine is cryo which has it's like a more hardened version of water. Frozen. It's still a version of water in a way. Okay. And I was thinking that Lenny was kind of like not being quite compassionate towards his little brother. And it makes sense because he's like a pyro. No trouble at all. Don't worry. We're on the case. 
Sorry oh, I'll look at the story teaser tab. I'm quite useless when it comes to such tasks. I'll think of a way to make it up to you. Oh, no need, no need. This will be a walk in the park for us. I want to get to that fountain, and then I'll be done today, but... I guess we'll just keep going. I need to try diving before ending the stream. Okay, if I remember... I gotta head out because my friend is gonna help me. Okay, um, have fun, Comet. Thank you for hanging out. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. I can beeline to the fountain. Okay, how do I get there, y'all? From here, how do I, do I go up the stairs? Cryo has all the introverted girlies. Shen hug on you, Chi Chi. Oh, you're right. It's Northeast, okay. Oh, the music. Ah, uh, such a change of scenery. This is so cool. It's jazzy. Nighttime jazzy. Nana. Meow. Meow, meow. Na na na, come on. Okay, from here, where do I go? <laughs> Am I going the right way to the fountain? I went past it. Oh. Girl, unlock the statue first. Go to the main square with the big fountain you saw and take the aqua bus. Okay. <laughs> what? You want me to unlock the statue? Y'all don't want to lead me blindly to the fountain? <laughs> Where's the statue? Uh oh, it's time to climb, y'all. Oh, I can't climb here. I need to go to the main. Do you like Gaming? He's one of my favorite characters. I do. I think Gaming is so cute. Y'all said an elevator. I can just do this. Y'all, I think I'm lost. Go back to the big fountain and there will be an elevator behind it. So cute. Okay. Go back to the big fountain and there's an elevator behind it. I'm lost in Paris. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. Okay. Now, y'all said if I go to the big fountain, there's an elevator. Now, go to the building on the left. <laughs> Take the Navi align from the elevator and use the bus to get directly to the opera. Whoa! I want to know how Looks many like pictures. Where's the Navia line? Maybe it's deeper in. <laughs> no, wait, I found it.
Hi, Fiorina. Somebody said take take the take the Navia line. We're taking the Navia line. This is a totally canon picture, by the way. Okay. Oh my Oh, okay. When does the... Ah! Oh my god, I have to sit down. Welcome to the Navia line. I am Elfan. The boat will be departing imminently. Please do not stick your head, hands, or other body parts outside the boat. The Aquabus Where's operator Pixie? is not responsible for any accidents or injuries resulting from... I'm not jumping snow. off of this. Also, please remember to buy the Steambird, though I don't read it myself. My limited blue Navia? Yes, is this what this is this what I was based on? Points of interest worth visiting include the Fountain of Lucene and the Opera Epiclus. If you look to the left in the direction we are currently traveling, you will see the famous Fontaine Research Institute up in the sky. Oh, I see something over there, baby. Opportunity. Human ingenuity truly is a wondrous thing. Sorry, I was taking in the sights. Ooh. There's a chest over there. Oh my goodness! Hey, Pixie. We're now approaching our final destination. Please be sure to bring all your personal belongings with you as you disembark. Even though I will take any forgotten items to the lost and found, the paperwork is rather annoying as no The big thing in the sky? Grasping pens. Please be careful when disembarking. It has been my honor to be your tour guide this trip. Thank you. Where'd everybody go? Oh. Guys! That was really scary. <laughs> now where? Is this the fountain? Not this one. Next one. Okay. There was a waypoint. It's unlocked already for me, apparently. Skip. Get the hydro. Oh. It blended right in. Skipping the fountain. Oh, is this the one from the trailer? Oh, is this not it? See, now I know why y'all can fit these petite little gowns. Y'all walk a lot. I forgot that Andrew was in my game. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, Beckett. <gasps> Is this it?
I can't break the <laughs> Bow your head. <laughs> Offer the hydro sigils you obtained from your adventures into the deserves to take the stage more than Lady Farina. Just wait. I prefer magic personally. Is it story locked? Are y'all trying to make me do something that's story locked? Settle down. Everyone's Everyone's telling me I have to finish the story first. It is. Y'all, I think it's story locked. Pidgey <laughs> says she doesn't think it's story locked. Mara so. says in TikTok that it's after the story. Hmm. Go inside the opera instead. Okay, I think it's after the story. Okay, y'all don't tell me why. I think somebody said, I saw it's behind the story because, and then I stopped reading. Okay, um, let's take a picture though, just to commemorate this nice little walk that we had in front of the fountain. On the count of three, y'all know what to do. On the count of three, I'm gonna swing my sword. That's when you can do something. No promises, but. We're here, so. One, Something you two, three. You have my undivided. Witness my love. Love. Steady as stone. <laughs> ah. grow, grow, grow. Sorry, guys. Let's do that again. <laughs> I got distracted because Arlequino honestly looked really cool. One, two, three. Okay, that's what we got. That's what we got. Okay, thank you guys. I'm going to look around just a little bit more, like a couple more minutes, and then I'll be done. I remember this one time, IDK, how, but Genshin got brought up and everyone started going, ew. I mean, whatever. Not everyone's going to like Genshin, but that's how it is. I'm going to go in the opera house, and then we'll be done. Oh, I have to do the diving, too. How do I do diving? How do I... What's the quickest way to try diving? Can I, like, jump off the aqua bus? Just go in water? Okay. It's okay, Pidgey. Now I know. Now I know where it's at. There's, like, 7,000 fountains. There's water behind the opera house? Okay. Dude, what is this? Oh my goodness. Is this where Oratrice Mechanique Denise Cardinal does her um show, her headliner show? I wanna get up there. See now I'm playing around. I have to be This is cool though. I have to go diving. That's really cool. <laughs> Okay, let me go behind the opera house and dive. Miss Oratrice. <laughs> Excuse me. I must leave no stone unturned. Y'all, I really love this area. You can just go right to. Well, if I keep going this direction, I'll eventually see water, right? Should I move to France? 
I mean, like... <laughs> well, we... Oh, does Farina have a custom swimming animation? Well, I wanted to get into the deep water. That's what I was doing. I'm waiting for it to run out. Left control dive. Water world future. So we have this. Okay, okay, okay. Abilities. Okay. Sometimes these strange clusters of trans. When parents. When attacking special xenochromatic. This is kind of cool. Creates a heavily armored crab shield capable of releasing shockwaves that can shatter stones. Holding it down will continuously expand the shield. What? I don't know what that is. This is really pretty. Like, this is genuinely very, very pretty. Press and hold E. Ah. Oh. Hey. Okay. Keep holding it longer. The crab power can counter to deal big damage if you have. Oh, if you time it right. Okay, so it's like a. Okay. Let me just swim around a little bit. I want to see what Noelle does. So, what's, what's Farina's swimming animation that I'm missing? Sprint to the top of the water and Furina will dive. That's pretty. I like that. Okay. So sprint to the top of the water. Let's go. Oh, is that what it is? That's cool. I like that. This is so, like, petite and, like, elegant. Like, this is literally me during the summertime in, like, fifth grade pretending I'm a mermaid. Like, this is literally what I thought it was. What I thought I was giving. This is what I thought I was giving. <laughs> Only Fontonians can do a dolphin jump? Oh... Okay, so let's let's pull let's do a little bit of pulling and oh wait let's do a little bit of pulling and then we'll be done okay because I think I have I might be able to get one more let's just turn these in and see if I can pull and then we'll be done let's say it that way let's see if I can pull <laughs> Furina's jump is the only one with rainbow particles okay I see. Yeah, I'll watch the story teaser, too. I don't mind doing that. I always go to him as if, like... I think I didn't use my resin today. Yeah, I have, like, five of them, so we're just gonna ignore that. I don't know if I can pull today, so no promises. Thank you for 
bad, Astra. Okay, now let's see what we got. My resin stockpile? I'm saving it. My wishing spot in Fontaine, I don't know quite yet. I don't know quite yet. Um, we're just going to do a classic wishing spot here. Come on, I can do one. Give me one good one, because I, then I can get one to get more of the thingies. Right. Okay. Come on. What if I get Arlequino? What if I did, though? Oh, scab. Well, that's it, guys. I'll be deleting my Genshin Impact account um, until further notice. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, let's count that pity now. Now that I'm here, I can count that pity. All right, so we did just one. We did one just now. 1820, so that was like 620? Girl, I can't do math. Oh, that was the past one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Yeah. Yeah. We're there. Leave it to me. We're there. It, for sure. It is. All right. Um No one listens to add extra applesauce. <laughs> yeah, I'm at 77 and I my 50/50 is probably going to get me another chichi, I think. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. My mouse got really weird. I hope I didn't bust anybody's eardrums. Um, okay, everybody, I'm going to get off of TikTok first. Thank you, everybody, on TikTok. I'm going to be doing this tomorrow if you're interested. We're going to be pushing more story. Um, um, so, yeah, I hope to see you guys there tomorrow. Thank you so much on TikTok. Thank you, everyone, for the gifts, and thank you for hanging out. It's always so fun. Tomorrow at 7 o'clock p.m. EST, okay? Bella? So, two and a half hours before now but it's tomorrow. I do these for about two, two and a half hours. Seven o'clock PM EST. So bye TikTok, thank you so much. Check my pinned post if you wanna know my schedule. I have a pinned post as well on my page that shows my schedule. Bye. And everyone on Twitch, thank you everyone for showing up today. We had a really, really lively stream today. Across both platforms, we had about 150 people. So thank you all so much. I just want to say um, you guys really brighten my day sometimes. I really needed the stream today. And thank you all for letting me be like Shady and read Paimon and Fiorina. Fiorina really came at the right time because I wanted to read. I wanted to read. And it wasn't because like I just had we had to blow off some steam in like a fun bantery kind of way. So thank you all so much for entertaining that. And I hope that you guys enjoyed today. Um, we're going to be pushing more story tomorrow. So I hope to see you there. Okay, whatever you guys are up to, school, work, just hang out at home. I hope it goes by well. It will go by well. Thank you all so much for giving so much positive energy. Thank you guys for showing me the fountains. Thank you guys for carrying me on my dailies. And now let's let's play our let's play our um our anthem. The girly pop anthem. Okay. Let me find it first. Alright everybody, I'll see you tomorrow.